Sensei, you coming? Hey guys, ignore my hair, it's a little bit everywhere, but I'm so terribly sorry that I have been MIA for like a month now, but this is all the crazy stuff that has been going on, that being the first, so. said so right now, I feel like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, I don't know how many of y'all will get that reference, but I hardly even get it too, because I, I wasn't allowed to watch it. But I remember, like, in the little entry of it where, here's what my happened. my life turned upside down. My life turned upside down. We lost the barn. <laughs> and then over here, lost the tractor shed. Damage to the roof. Luckily, no lives were lost in the hurricane. So here is what has happened in the past month, guys. So it is 3.20. I don't know if y'all can hear me that well. Um, I'm trying to stay a little bit quiet because Chloe's still asleep. Um, y'all can see me because of this. So, yeah. I have a flashlight. The power is out. I have a full battery on my phone. Um, so I probably won't be on it very long. So I can try to save that little bit of time. Uh, pouring it is it was it is bad um the wind is what woke me up it was whistling outside but it was blowing so hard that it was whistling and the house is creaking a little bit well little pops here and there but i think that's mainly like in the roof i'm not sure i'm hoping it's not i'm hoping that we're good that this house is still standing um, it sounds bad outside because I'm listening and I'm hearing loud cracks and everything. So it sounds almost as if a tree broke. So, um, we'll, we'll know more when the sun comes up. Um, these hurricanes are not the greatest because they do happen at night in the dark. You can't see anything. So these are probably like the worst time. This is the worst time that a hurricane can hit. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. I'm gonna get up and see how everybody else is going. Mom said that this has been going on for about an hour now. So, yeah, let's, let me see if I can try to get like an hour left to sleep. I've only been asleep for about an hour. Me and Chloe didn't go to bed till like after midnight for sure. So we've, I've only slept for one to two hours only already. So I don't think I was gonna get much sleep being around. All right, checking storm damage. I'm missing part of a barn roof. Dad is missing his whole roof on a shed, his tractor shed. We are losing skirting on the house. My ducks didn't fly away. They look like they're having a grand old time though. You see any down trees? Yeah. It's still pouring down rain. We're gonna wait till after all this blows over to go see the damage. Alright guys, 
I am out here in the storm. We we're trying to get the generator and we have a pet seagull. How did we get a seagull? I'm off to take the shower, a shower in the dark, and cold water. Coley, what we got? I feel like we're in the water. I don't think so. We're over here by the side. Well, what if you have to pull over here? Then we'll move. We have a baby cow. We just got cows. Down on. Oh, God. oh, that's good. You gotta push up on it. What? Yeah. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, here. Here. Put it on like this. Now. And just push. Dad, I feel like this is a bad time to let you know that bench press is not my strongest suit. Alright, here. Grab that. Probably lay down there. Oh, okay. I'll get down there. As long as it's not more than 90 pounds, I might could get it. Who knows? <laughs> pull it out some more. Okay. There you go. Alright. Look at that. Can you push it up some more? Oh. Alright, now you can probably get up here and do it. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Sweet. Works better when you loosen. <laughs> what is it, Laura? enough. Chill, you are okay. You are okay. What are you guys doing? Hi, Sissy. What are you doing, little girl? Alright, this is the feeding routine since we have no barn anymore. Says that you coming? All right, so this is my daily feeding routine with the horses because now that I have no barn, we are using temporary panels. Says so is first in line, as always. I have not understood this part because I used to have Sass be first in line and everybody would follow in right behind her and she ended up hi girl passing at like 32 33 years old so she was the oldest the, so, so she was the oldest hi foxy so it was ooh, that's not how this works so since she was the oldest it made more sense for her to go first and everybody just followed. Lady, little girl, was like her little protege. 
Hang on, let's let Sunny squeeze. As I get knocked on the head. Tarzan is the oldest now, but he has nothing, nothing in the ranks. Cause him's a little pony. Everybody doesn't, everybody doesn't listen to the little pony, huh? So, yeah, Sesley feels like she is the leader of the pack for whatever reason. I have not understood that yet. But I have my own little theory behind all that, but I won't go into detail. Uh, but yeah, I am so ready for the newborn. So this ready. is where Sesley is, next to her mama, Foxy. Now we got Sunny, Lady, and Tarzan. Lady and Tarzan are like best friends, so they always stay together. But if we come down here, since I cannot feed in the barn anymore, they're out here in panels. I got I had to go buy buckets to feed them. And right here is where the new barn is gonna go. And I am so happy. I'm so happy. Me and my dad were talking about this and we thought that it was gonna be like a couple more years down the road before we were able to get it built and everything. But then Hurricane Laura hit, so we are planning to build the, probably the closest thing to my dream barn as possible. But I don't know when that's going to happen yet because we still got a lot more stuff to do. So, yeah.